You talking to me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turk Van Gogh Games. I'm your host, Turk Van Gogh. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. I really do appreciate it. Patrons, big hug. Big hug to the patrons. Super mad love. Um, there's a bunch of you. I really do appreciate everyone who supports me on Patreon. It's so beautiful. It's so awesome. I know there was a lot more before, but I took a big break. And, you know, when you take a break, things kind of dive down. So uh, for the people who did stick around with Patreon, there's hundreds of you. So I really, I can't, can't believe it. I don't deserve it, but thank you so much. Uh, but if you want to check out these videos uncensored and you're not a patron, uh, but you watch on YouTube, go to patreon.com slash TVGG. Go support me there and you'll have access to all of these videos uncensored the way they're meant to be seen. Unfortunately on YouTube, I cannot post them the way I want to. So I have to do like double the work for every video. So if a video takes hour, two, three hours to edit. It takes like an hour or two more because I have to make two of them. One edited and one uncut. And that uncut version goes on Patreon. So my apologies if you're watching on YouTube and you're like, this sucks, it's, it's, it's pixelized. Well, it's YouTube, you know how it is. I have another channel, two other channels, patreon.com slash TVGGs for Patreon and for uncut videos, but the other YouTube channels, TVG Games Code 2, please go there. Like 70 of you have already subscribed there. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to build up that channel for like regular games. So I'm gonna do live streams of Call of Duty, uh, AAA titles, Cyberpunk, all the stuff that's coming out and all the stuff that I like playing now, like Escape from Tarkov, all that stuff. So please go there because this channel is great. I love it. Um, I love playing these silly games, but I get my live stream taken away. I get videos taken away. Uh, YouTube removes my ability to upload sometimes. So this channel, while it's great, may not last very long. I've had four of these channels and they've all been demonetized or removed. So Think about putting all that work into it and they just take it away from you. So I want to have another channel where I just play regular games where I can actually connect with you and play, you know, Call of Duty with you guys or girls and, uh, you know, play like regular titles and actually be able to live stream them and, and have your own emojis. And, and if you want to donate, you can. So that way you don't have to always go to Patreon and stuff like that. So TVG Games Code 2, please go right now and subscribe. I'll wait. The video will still be here. I'll wait. Cool. I have another channel. TVG reviews and that's where I'm going to do reviews of um, the new RTX card which I'm getting uh, I have a bunch of guns a bunch of toys I'm going to do reviews of games so adult games while well, they'll be on here I'm going to do like quick five minute to ten minute clips of just reviews of new adult games that came out so you don't have to pay for them or jump into them if they're not good at all and trust me I'm a good arbiter of like quality uh, as far as these games I've played hundreds of them I've probably played more of these games than like some of the game developers in this genre. Actually, no, maybe like 500 adult games throughout like the last three or four years, which is crazy. And um, I think I know what's good and what is in and what should be implemented, what shouldn't, what should be taken out, what, what should be um, added to all that stuff. So please go and subscribe to both those channels. But TVG Games Code 2 is really important if you subscribe to it. And of course, patreon.com slash TVGG. Now let's jump into this. This is Summertime Saga, the newest release. So the previous release was version 20 or 0.20, I call it version 20. This is 20.5. This is the newest iteration and there's a bunch of add-ons to it. Um, and if you wanna see what the add-ons are, there's additional story. So if you go to summertimesaga.com and you're a patron of Dark Cookie, so if you're a patron subscriber to Dark Cookie on Patreon, you can have, an ac you can have access to this website and you have a, uh, there's, I think there's extra access for patrons. So when you download the game, it'll ask you if you want to link your Patreon to it, which is great. But 
let's check out what's new. So if you ever want to know what the update status of this game is or when the new version is coming out, there's never like an ETA date. Sometimes in the posts of Dark Cookie on Patreon, he'll tell you like, all right, where well, ETA is for this month or whatever, but you can really just look at the task bar here and see the percentage complete. So you can look at the new, new bar for 20.8, which is at 4%. So it just started. So this version just released 20.5. So let's we're going to focus on this version because I haven't played from the beginning to the end of any of the last three or four versions yet. So there's a whole bunch of new content that I haven't seen yet. So I'm going to help you by if you haven't played it or can't play it or can't download it for whatever reason, we're going to go through it together. And if you want to see any of this stuff that I put up on YouTube that's cut, you can go to Patreon and check it out uh, because I would love to upload it, but I can't, unfortunately. So a lot of stuff does get edited out. But on the 20.5 release, we can see on the change log, there's um, the second of three main story parts has been completed. Five new cookie jar scenes. And the cookie jar scenes are just basically like um, scenes that you've gone through, but uh, can rewatch. And then there's five new ones as well. Melonia in Iwanka. I'm not gonna say who those people are because they're a parody of real live people, but I'm sure you can take a guess. You know what I'm saying? Melonia and Iwaga can now be impregnated. Three new interactive puzzles and events. It is now possible to access Tony and Maria's apartment. I haven't even been to Tony and Maria's apartment, so that's going to be awesome. The bank and warehouse locations have been extended. So the warehouse was just a place that was under construction. I haven't even been there uh, or seen what it's new, what's new about it. So I'm excited to see that. Bonus content for Maria and Tina. <gasps> Maria and Tina, if you guys don't remember, when you're in the school and you're in the shower and then they rip off your towel and then they play a little game of show me yours, I'll show you mine. Dude, that was like the best scene. When I was playing with my wife, I was telling her, I was like, yo, this is the greatest scene because my wife is Hispanic. I love Hispanic girls. So that right there is the whole reason I'm playing right now is just to see that. If you're... I don't know, maybe you could put down in the comments below who your favorite interaction is or who your favorite characters are um, or what character you want to see the most content like in depth with. Put it down in the comments below because I want to know. My favorites so far are Maria and Tina and I haven't even gone to the extra content yet. So I am so excited for this. I hope you guys are excited too. So uh, let's continue. The gameplay touch-ups. Evermore... Even, oh sorry, Evermore or Evermore Evening variants for existing locations including Debbie's Attic, haven't been there yet, Lifeguard Tower, ooh nice, Maternity and Ho Maternity Reward, oh, because I think we have a couple babies in this game, Treehouse, I wonder how many babies you can have, like once this game is complete, can you have like babies with everybody and like your babies just hang out, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of like Game of thrones -y, right? Uh, Treehouse is cool, because... There was a little homage paid to me in the treehouse. I used to wear a red hat in all my gameplays. It's on my logo. So if you go to the treehouse, you'll see a little red hat hanging. Dark Cookie put that in for your boy. So it was really nice. That's like the third game that developers put me in very subtly. And um, I, I really appreciate that. I think one was uh, Dreams of Desire by Lude Lab. The second one was Ninad Asanovich. No, no. It was Terra Bankov Studios for Lita's Adventure. I was in that game. He actually made me like a little character in the game. So I got to run back to that. If you're watching, Terra, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to play your game again, I promise. That was such a... Leader's Adventure was such a good game. And it was a good game for my channel, too, because people loved it. And it's actually a good game. So I'm, I'm curious to see what that game is like now. Um, I think it might even be completed. The warehouse. So the yacht. Ooh, the yacht. On the yacht, there's like a little red button where you can launch a nuclear missile. I have no idea what that implicates. Like if you blow up a town next to Summertime Saga or if that corresponds with a new game because eventually dark cookie is going to make new games and i'm excited to see if they connect to this world or if they're completely different because this guy is a brilliant artist and a brilliant game developer probably the best you know he's like the top one or top three earners on patreon when it comes to like consistent earning so um i i have high hopes for dark cookie uh let's see uh, oh you can't even see this yo I'll put it up on the screen when I, uh, I'll, in the edit. And then um, we have updated remaining character art and posing in day one. All outstanding old school, old style cutscenes and transi transitions have been updated. Consuela's quest line. Who's Consuela is now integrated with main story events. Oh my God. Added new hint to tree on Raven's Hill when following up on church bell quest. Okay. 
Um, there's so many new features and improvements here and bug fixes. Introduction of multiple new VFX to aid storytelling. Improve positional rigging of a bunch of characters. Remove now disused third-party Python packages. So there's a bunch of stuff. I'll put it up here so you can see it. Um, right now, my OBS is only tracking the game. But anyway, we're going to jump right into this. And um, make sure you go to summertimestock.com. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash darkcookie and let darkcookie know TVG sent you. If you do become a subscriber to them, it really helps me out because at least the developers know I'm helping them out. And uh, go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash TVGG. Okay, I've, I've said enough. We're going to play a new game. How many times have I done this? Everybody's who's watched my channel a bunch of times knows I've done this so many times. But we're going to jump right into this. And I want to see everything that's new. Okay, that's why I always replay these from the beginning. So let's jump right into this. Thank you so much. And let's go. Okay, new game. We're going to be TVG, of course. Now we're going to play Cheats Enabled only because it allows me to get through it faster. I don't have to worry about money or doing like little mini games and stuff like that. So again, we remember dad passed away. This is like the main trope or main theme of every like adult game. If you're if the if the protagonist is a male, it's always the dad's gone and we're or the you know, kicked out of the house and we have to live with another family or one of our parents are dead and now we're like the man of the house. It's such a it's such a funny thing, but it's it's just the way it starts. Um, so we're going to start our day. Now, I'm going to try and go pretty slowly. If I do cut out, and if somebody's trying to use this as a walkthrough, I'll try and keep all of the elements that are required for a walkthrough. But pretty much this game is like kind of linear, even though it's an open world game. It's pretty linear as far as what you have to do. But if it's something that like I had to figure out, I'm going to keep it in the video. And then any like uh, dull moments or moments we've already seen, I'm going to take out. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna pick up the little chip nips. Chip nips look good. I wonder if those are like the the crunchy ones. Cause a lot of the stuff that Dark Cookie like puts in the game, he must be my age, because it's all like references that I understand. And then some I don't, but are like like references to like current streamers or famous people. Um there's like one or two I haven't like known before, but when I went to Twitch, I was like, oh that's a Twitch girl. But a lot of these people are based on real people, I guess. Um, this is our bedroom. We have to fix our computer eventually. We have to go get that from the store. You can see we have money. Um, if we go into our backpack, you can see all your stuff. You can scroll down once your backpack is uh, little slots are full. You'll have more slots on the bottom. You can see your checklist. The gold tracker, I think, has been updated pretty well. So it actually gives you like really good hints. So if you ever get lost, you can always just um, look at this tracker and it pretty much can direct you to the right direction. There's so many people that interact with this game, so this game is really long and really huge. And uh, it's just a big game, so. Now we're gonna meet the sis. I always name her Janae. She's really mean, and she's like super snarky to us and sarcastic and really rude, and she doesn't treat us very nicely, but that changes later in the game as we kind of build our relationship and bond a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna talk to Mama. She's always wearing, she's always looking so fine. Her name is Debbie. And usually I change her name at the end of this. I should do like a speed run. You think they would let me in uh, AGDQ? If you don't know what AGDQ is, you should Google it or YouTube it. It's pretty cool. But it's like a convention where people just speed run the games. Like all kinds of weird games and AAA games. And it's really fascinating and kind of crazy that people spend like months and years of their life on one game. And they look at every angle and they jump and they try every combination of buttons at every point of the game to like break through a wall or break the game or try and cut through faster. It's pretty amazing. Like speedrunning has been something I've been watching aside from like Dr. Disrespect. And the only two people I watch on YouTube are like three people I watch or four. I watch Jay's Two Cents. I watch Gamers Nexus when it comes to like tech reviews. And then I watch sometimes Linus Tech Takes, but then I watch Dr. Disrespect, since he's on YouTube now, and Dashy, the two funniest people on YouTube. I mean, you could put it down below and who you think are the best YouTubers or the best people to watch, but Dr. Disrespect and Dashy are probably like the funniest, literally per minute, the FPM and the FPH, the funny per hour, funny per minute. Dr. Disrespect, Disrespect and Dashy are like neck and neck. And some people might say it's Dr. D Dis because he's got a better production value and it's more things going on. It's hilarious. And he's got a lot more money. 
But um, Dashi and Doctor are the, the best YouTubers, and they make me laugh consistently out loud, which is uh, tough to say for a lot of YouTube channels I watch. Um, it never happens. So I've been watching those two primarily. But speedrunning has been added to my repertoire. Go to AGDQ on YouTube and just watch some of these speedruns and some, just type in your favorite game next to it or just type in your favorite game and type in speedrun and it most likely will be an AGDQ thing or it might just be some speedrunner trying to go for a world record. It's amazing. So I might be able to speedrun this game, but it'd be kind of silly because it's never going to be accepted in, in, into any of those places. But uh, maybe I'll just do like my own personal record and see how I can get through the... But the to the end of the game, but it's not complete yet, so I don't know how that will work. But anyway, I digress. Let's pick up this key here. You can pick up this key right by the uh, hat, and this will get you into the attic. I'm trying to look around for any other, because there might be some other stuff that I don't know about yet. We're gonna go back outside, because we gotta go to visit Eric. We're gonna go into, oh, we can't go into the garage yet. Let's check the mailbox. Okay, so we, we can't go to the, uh, to the mailbox yet, or to the uh, garage yet. So we're gonna go next door to Eric's house. We're gonna meet with meet up with Eric. He's just gonna tell us tell us about his problems. We gotta go to school. Um, let's see if I can go back to my house. All right, it won't let us. So we gotta go to school. That's where we meet Mia and we meet some of the other characters. And again, I'm not gonna read everything. I'm only gonna read the new stuff I haven't seen or read yet. So that's the that's the entrance to the school. That's a little different. Usually, it just takes you right into the school. So let's see what's different here. I want to go back to the. Oh, I can't go to the map. But this looks really good. He blurred out the background here. I mean, if you ever want to watch uh, Dark Cookie, my bottom teeth look terrible on this thing. It's just this tooth. But I usually have really nice teeth. It kind of bothers me. Like, maybe if I put the camera below, you won't be able to see the bottom bottom teeth. But from here, it looks really bad. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I, I get self-conscious about certain things. But hey, whatever. You want to make fun of me? Make fun of me. It's fine. But... um. If you ever want to watch, but spoiler alert, you'll see like spoils of this game. If you don't want it to be spoiled for you, don't watch it. But on Picardo TV, you can watch the developer make the actual game live. And he streams quite consistently on there. It's pretty amazing. And you can watch him make these scenes or these characters on Photoshop and see how he implements it um, as far as like layers and textures and, and, and how he draws. It's pretty amazing. I've watched hours of Dark Cookie draw on Picardo live streams of this game. Then I stopped watching it because I didn't want it to be spoiled because he's literally drawing things for like the next update. And you know, you can watch it now and you're gonna get spoiled. It's gonna spoil a lot of the stuff. So I don't want that to happen. I wanna be surprised. So let's go back into the school. That's where we meet the uh, big jock and the, and the head cheerleader. You know, the stereotypical, look at his hands in his pants. Why is he hands in your pants? Later on, we find out there's not much there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you got the Principal Smith. What's in Eric's pocket? Is that like a, a PS Vita or something? All right, she's pure evil. And the Principal is pretty evil, yo. She makes us do some crazy things. Now, what I'm curious about in this game is remember when you would come into the school at night, and this is for people who know, if you don't know, spoiler alert, um, there's like a cult thing going on with this town. And all the kids and the... The adult in the they're wearing like these cloaks so you don't know who they are but you can see by their feet and their like a lower part sometimes you can see their pants or their feet so you can kind of tell I know Mia is one of them but there's a bunch of students that are like in this weird cult or forced to be in this cult it's kind of like a stranger things kind of thing um, slash well I don't know think of like a cult movie with involved with kids as there was a couple in the 90s so I, I'm curious to know is that like continued is that because where did that storyline go? Uh, we can't go into our locker yet, so I think we have to go visit Miss. Uh, okay, do we have to go to Miss Smith or we have to go to English class? I can't remember. This is the the cook, by the way. His name is Kevin. He's like he works at the cafeteria. He's he gets us into the gym basically. So by talking to him, it kind of opens up the gym. There we go. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to go to see Miss Smith. Okay, maybe we are. Let's see. So she wants to see us. She tells us how bad our grades are, even though our pa our father passed away. She has no sympathy for us, and we have to get our grades up. Annie's outfit looks a lot different. She looks a lot different. I think her the colors are different. She's wearing a skirt. Was she wearing a skirt before? I'm not sure. All right. So back to the hallway. Uh, we can we can easily like try and go see all these people, but we're not going to do that. I know we got to go into there. 
Let's place it. Okay, we gotta go to our locker. Here we go. So she's gonna, ooh, okay. She pulls the key out. It's a golden key. Ah, the key was different last time. It was just like this bronze heavy key. Um, so you have the master key. It's, okay, so it's gonna be in the office. So this is our to-do list. Annie and Rhonda. I don't know what that means. Have we already done them? No, we haven't. So maybe we can't do them yet? I don't know. Here's our report card. Have a great day at school. Deb, that's mama. And we can get this card. So let's leave. Okay. Something to think about. Now we should go to the locker room. This is where we meet Judith, who's such a sweetheart, but she gets like bullied all the time, which is really me. And we're just going to go through that conversation. Can we go into these lockers yet? No, we can't. All right, now we gotta go to the boys' locker room. We'll see our first scene. Okay. And then she forces us. Is her outfit different? Different? Is Annie's outfit different? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take myself out of this one. Here we go. Okay, so now she's just... Yo, Judith looks mad better, right? Oh my God. He made Judith look a lot better. Oh my goodness. Yo, this has been updated. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. That's that looks so much better. Okay, so now she's she's how is she gonna stay improper and shameful? Oh, because she wasn't wearing any oh my god, did you see that? Hold on, can you go back a little bit? You won't let me go back. Um that was awesome. The way her like arm was like squishing against it. How is she gonna say that's improper when she made us do it? But I I think she's just referring to her like fact that she doesn't have undershirt on. So let's go back. I'm just trying to like really pay attention to see what else is new here. Now we have to go to the field. There we go. We click out there. Wow, look at Coach Bridget. She looks so much better. She was real like buff before. Very like masculine looking. But now she looks more, she's, she's definitely more beautiful, but she's still like scary, you know what I'm saying? All right, so now she's, oh, this is where we meet Rhonda. Who's a, who's a gorgeous girl. All right, so we unlocked the pool. So we got to go to the pool later. Um, I'm not going to talk to any of them now. Now I think we have to go to English class. So let's go there. This is where we meet Miss Bisset. Miss Bisset looks a little different. She looks a little less attractive. Does she always look like that? I would really have to like look back and compare to my old videos to see. Someone you know, obviously throws stuff at us. She looks different. Her nose looks different. Okay, there's Eve. One of our buddies and that's where we'll meet eve in the uh, park at night where we'll do like our rap sessions i don't know i know we play like a drinking game with her later with eric and uh things get a little crazy so i'm curious to see how this goes in the future all right i probably should read some of this or take my time to go through it i just don't want to because the videos get really long um again i only want to read the new stuff but i'm sure it's like different i'm sure there's tweaks to it so you know I have to kind of pay attention to like the bold lettering to see what's going on. So now, oh, we got to talk about private tutoring. So we'll talk about that later. So now we uh, talk to Eric. Let's see. We talk about job. Oh, my computer's definitely broken. You know any good stores where I can buy some? So now consumer opens up. So we're going to head right over to consumer. I thought it opened up. Okay, let's just look at the map really quick. So we got the mountain there, we got Debbie's house, or we got our aunt's house. So a lot of this stuff hasn't opened up yet. There's a house over here on the side. I don't know whose house this is, but I'm curious to know. And then we got the little dock here behind my camera. We got the little yacht, the pool's open, our house. Now Annie's, or um, is it Annie? What's her name? Mia's house is open. How come I can't go to consumer yet? I don't know, let's just, oh, okay, we have to go to Diane's house. So it's like, it doesn't let you, like when you, when this first game came out, like it let you just go anywhere really. So let's go to Debbie's house. We have to go into the back. There we go. We meet Debbie. That's our mom's twin sister. She needs a shovel, which we'll find in the garage out of, uh, in our own house. <clears throat> so let's go back before we do anything. <clears throat> let's go into our garage. Now there's the shovel. That's great. Sister comes. 
We tell her we're going to work with uh, Aunt Diane. She's going to make fun. Oh, my goodness. Patreon.com slash TVGG. I, I wish I didn't have to censor this for you two, but I have to. Such a nice booty. Okay. Are those batteries? She finds some batteries. Okay. Let's head back. So we got the shovel. This is where you can get the stool. When I grabbed the key earlier from the coat rack, um, that's a little toolbox there. That's the car. DTF mom. This is the, um, we're going to have to get a gas can for that. So let's go back to, okay, consumer's still closed. Let's go back to her. We're going to use the shovel. We're going to start the gardening mini game. And um, that should forward progression. So we're going to take everything that's round. Keep everything that's um, oblong, because she likes that. <clears throat> and since we don't have to worry about money, we don't have to do this minigame too many times. I don't think you have to do it again for any type of, like, progression forwarding purposes, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, I'll help you. Okay, we'll work together, blah, blah, blah. Gardening is hard work. I'm exhausted. I should head home. So we made 75 bucks. We used to get 80 before. I'll save it over... Yeah, let's delete this one. We'll save it over here. Let's delete this one because these are from old versions. I like how it like indicates that it's an older version now with that little um, exclamation point and that caution sign. That's really good because some saves can carry over, but you don't want to do that because if you get to like an end point of the game and it just like gets corrupt, it, it would suck and then you have to start all over again. So um, let's go back to our house. We can just click on this to go to your bedroom, but... Let's go to our house just in case. Hold on, before I do that, can we go? Oh, we can't. Okay, so let's just go. I was going to say we can go to the park. This is where we hear, over here, our mom getting threatened or, or t talked about, like, financial issues. Again, there's the Russian mob that's after my dad. There's a whole mystery of that. I still don't know what kind of business our dad was involved in, if he was killed. Most likely, he was murdered. So she talks about how, you know, don't worry about it, honey, just do your thing. And then now we, we're like, damn, we got to help our mama out and make some money. So we can go upstairs. I think we can hit the attic now. Oh, okay, I guess not. So we got to go to sleep. Can we look through here? Okay, that's that's closed. He's, he's gaming. What is he playing? Dota? League of Legends? World of Warcraft? What's he playing? They're sleeping. And here you can usually see Eric's mom doing yoga, but... Can't see it tonight. Let's go to sleep. All right, day two. 